I figure it's time to do a putter review and why not with a brand spanking new Toulon putter and we got to get it done before my fitting from Detroit shows up. Welcome back to the McGolf shop and we got an early start this morning because we do have a uh, new friend from Detroit traveling all the way down to Southern Ohio uh, for a fitting. So I wanted to get this one done because uh, I'm kind of excited about this particular putter and then uh, we'll get ready for our, our new friend to show up. Uh, what do I have in my hand? It's a uh, new addition from the Toulon putters. All right, Toulon is now part of the Odyssey family. Uh, Mr. Toulon uh, had his own putter company before that worked for uh, TaylorMade and before that another company. So he has a large history uh, in putter making and he's done some pretty unique uh, designs. So he continued that when he, he left uh, TaylorMade and started his own company and he uh, really concentrated on milled putters and the biggest thing that came out of his mill putters was the what he calls the diamond pattern on the face. I'm going to try and show you this. All right, you see that diamond pattern there? All right, what he concentrates on is uh, feel, sound, and roll uh, for the face pattern. They said they, they went through 25 different face patterns and uh, this one generated uh, getting the ball rolling the f quickest and it sounded the best and gave the best feel so best of both worlds now <clears throat> I had a chance to meet Mr. Toulon at the PGA show this year you want to talk about somebody who is totally consumed by making good putters and just a really easy guy to talk to this is one of those guys uh, the the best part was I just asked him what he likes in putter design now mind you we're in this really big Callaway display of sorts, the, the big booths that they had at the PGA show, and we're in a sea of people, and he stops and he's talking with me about putter design and what he likes looking at. And it was just he and I, it was like this bubble, and we started talking about designs and fitting and different things and what he likes. So I got a pretty good feel on uh, where he was going with this, and uh, it impressed me quite a bit. So, let's talk about this one. Brand spanking new putter, right out of the box. The Indianapolis. All right, the Indianapolis. Now, all of Toulon's putters are named after cities. I think mostly that, you know, you can say whatever you want. Mostly it's because cities don't charge anything for using their name. <laughs> so, there's all kinds of them. There's the Indianapolis, the Columbus, Memphis, San Diego, Austin, Madison, uh, and a plethora of others. I'm sure I've missed a few. And uh, they all have different shapes, designs, and there's always some little unique design element in each one of those from that particular city. Case in point for this one, the Indianapolis is designed after the IndyCar nose cone. And if you look at it, you see how that's got the wings and it's got the downforce? Okay, and it has four different materials on it. The face is a, a aircraft aluminum, a 6061, I believe is what they said. Then the top is a uh, is a carbon composite, and you can hear that. Doesn't sound like metal, right? Because it's not. And then the bottom is a 303 stainless steel, and then you either have uh, tungsten weights or again uh, steel weights. If you look at it from the side, you got a bit of a hole there. So this is a uh, a high MOI mallet putter. Now how do you get the high MOI? You know, moment of inertia, right? That's the t begin the uh, resistance to doing that. Well, in this particular instance, it's really accomplished by this. These weights back here are what help you not twist. Now, this model comes in two different varieties. It's called an aggressive release and a moderate release. The aggressive release is a basically a 38 inch putter, has a 14 inch uh, grip with a 50 gram uh, butt weight. 
Then it also has two, I believe it's 250s back here or 235s, but it's heavier. The idea is that you'll grip down on it, about three inches down on it, down here, and allows that to happen uh, a little bit easier. I'm not a big fan of gripping down, but that's the way they've designed it, so that's what it is. They have a moderate release, and this is what this is. They have a moderate release. It either comes with the uh, a pistol grip. Have you seen the uh, the uh, Super Stroke pistol, where it kind of goes like this at the end, and it has uh, at some 35 gram weights. And the idea here, it comes in graduated weights from like 33 to 36, I believe. And you and you you, you choke you don't choke down on that one, and you let it go. And this is for a guy who doesn't screen door it big time just ever so slightly the second moderate one is this one it comes with 25 gram weights a uh, another butt weight and a regular super stroke grip and that's what that's for so uh what's the idea of the uh, the aluminum it says soft and crisp feel the steel gives it a uh the the weight that you really are looking for along with the two tail weights and then this carbon, carbon fiber top, uh, I believe really kind of helps with the sound and the, gives it quite the cool look. Now, uh, I'm a lefty and this is a righty club. And we just got a FlightScope X3. Now, for those of you who don't know, the FlightScope X3 now will see a putter. Okay, it sees a short game. And once you get it set up and calibrated, it will tell you your launch angle, it will tell you how much your ball skids and if you have a uh, a finite distance that if you don't make the putt it would tell you how far it would go beyond the hole if you didn't make the putt uh, so there's a lot of really good information involved in this now all my training has told me that right around 12 percent is where you're always going to get skid okay that's just where it gets the ball up onto the grass it gets it going and then it takes off and uh, somewhere in the uh, chronicles of all this, they want to talk to you about uh, getting the ball rolling immediately. All right, you're going to see that in a lot of different putter companies, immediately. Huh. Well, I'm trying to figure out, my mind's eye was, even if this has a little bit of loft, it has, you know, typically it was around four degrees. Now we're getting around three or two because the greens are getting a little bit better. And if you're catching something coming up, you've got to initially hit that ball, and it's got to do a little something in order to go. Now it's 12%, so if you're on a 10-foot putt, it's like, you know, a foot and a couple inches. If you're on a 5-foot putt, it's half of that. If you're on a 40-foot putt, it's going to be even more. Now, why, why do you want immediate roll? Because when it's skidding, it has all this opportunity not to go where you want it, and that's what you want to do. So last night, I did some putting, and I was, you know, I did 10 putts, and out of those 10 putts, uh, I had four or five of them with zero skid. I would have never, ever thought that possible, but he did it. Now, there's, there's different ways, and we'll talk about that one. We'll talk about skid, and we're going to talk about launch and a whole other thing. This is a putter review. Uh, did some putts. The crisp, soft is true. Uh, if you're looking for one of those putters that's uh, incredibly soft, like another uh, putter company out there that's mo probably one of the most popular, Scotty Cameron, and uh, looking for that kind of feel, this is not it. This has a little bit more feedback. All right, it, Does it feel bad? Absolutely not. It actually feels pretty good. If you want to know where you hit it, how you hit it, this is certainly one of those um, putters. The other part of that this is, is if you're one of those, it, the part about it is I like the customizing for the, uh, the guy that does the aggressive release and the guy that does the moderate release, and they, and they tailor to that kind of stuff. It used to be that if you had a, a mallet, that if you just came straight back and went straight forward, this is pretty much all you were going to get. Uh, but now they've kind of addressed that in this. Uh, the look is certainly, that look is certainly unique. You're not going to see this anywhere else. Now, this monster sight line right here really does help you 
uh, a line and for 10 foot putts now let's take put this in perspective 10 10 foot putts even in the tour the 10 foot putt uh, perspective is between 40 and 50 percent you're going to make so uh, or 60 50 and 60 percent so five out of six putts ought to go in maybe five out of six won't and when I was hitting these things uh, I was either hitting my cup or I was just barely missing it so even from a right-handed perspective it's not bad uh, so certainly um, I would never I would say get fit uh, and then see what this is all about. Uh, this thing is certainly unique. Uh, I, at the first couple of putts, I was almost distracted by the sh by the shape of it because, well, it's brand new. Once I got once I got past that and I was realizing how I had to roll the thing, man, it was actually quite nice. Very solid. Uh, very has very good feedback, and uh, it, it doesn't have that super soft feel like you would have to but it's not made to be that way uh, that's what the aluminum with the steel behind it that's what that does so uh, looking for a high MOI mallet looking for something that's actually made for a guy that actually releases you like something that has a slightly larger grip um, you like something that looks kind of unique and coming out of the bag the Indianapolis from Toulon might be for you so again uh, if you want to get uh, a really really good putter it, it's really important to get fit so go get fit okay uh, the length the loft the lie the the style the aiming all those are very important and I think mr. Toulon hits uh, hits quite a few of these marks particularly when we go through this the go through the fitting for you so uh, I think they're on a roll and we're gonna do some more I have uh, one more uh, Toulon putter to show you guys. We'll do that in another one. And if you liked it, hey, like the like, hit the like button. If you want to see some more of these reviews and you want to know when they're coming, uh, hit the subscribe button. And hopefully during this whole thing, I've uh, you'll be seeing how the ball's rolling and see some of the outputs of the of the X3. So Toulon, Indianapolis. Go look for your local area or look them up online. And let's see your scores go low. I figured awesome.